Hey, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of game and interactive media design. Today we are going to model a shogi piece because one of my students wants to create, or there's a student group that wants to create a shogi game, and so they want to make a shogi tile piece to go into the game. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. What we're going to do is make sure we are in, well, I just want to know what units I'm in. I'm in centimeters. My system setup is in centimeters. Great, because Unreal Engine uses centimeters, and I think that's what they're using. Also to note, they are using 300 centimeter by 300 centimeter tile pieces. So I'm just going to right click my snaps up here, go to home grid, and set this to 300 centimeters okay all that does is show me the size of the tile and so I can actually create a shogi piece from here uh, I am going to create geometry which is that circle it looks should be a sphere and I'm gonna create standard primitives and I'm, and I'm gonna start with a box I'm just gonna draw it here and drag it upward there there's your typical box okay and the shogi piece looks something like shogi piece board um oh no no shogi piece i think there's a knight okay so this is what a shogi piece looks like okay it looks something like that okay it's got that kind of dimension kind of like uh, I don't know what shape that would be honestly so uh, I'm going to model something like that and I guess is it completely I really want to see a full turnaround there we go this looks better okay so it's wider at its base it actually kind of angles up or gets thinner up at the top Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna model something like this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that has a nice indentation. I bet students, oh, okay, in this short tutorial, we are gonna model something like this, and we are gonna pretend that this is just pasted on there, because this is gonna be for a mobile game, so maybe we should be a little bit more concerned with our, our, our um, uh, 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 polygon count. Okay, bam. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, we don't care about really the overall size. It just needs to fit inside a 300 by 300 tile um, board layout. So let's go ahead and just change, go to the Modify tab, and just kind of make this roughly the dimension that we kind of... There. I'm going to do that. Okay, you'll see why in a little bit. Uh, the next thing I want to do is, you know what, this is going to bother me. I actually want this to be exactly like 190. I want the width to be exactly 150. And I want the height to be exactly 40. Yeah. I like exact <laughs> multiples of five measurements. Okay, and that's going to happen. Sorry. I got to figure out how to turn off all of the political YouTube pop-ups. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm going to go to the Modify tab. Make sure... Oh, I have segments. Oh, I don't need all those segments. Someone tell me. Set that down to one. Length segment, height segment, width segments, all should be one. There. Um, I guess I could do one width segment. I could do that. So let's do that. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. So I did that. That's going to actually be a little bit easier. Um, it's going to split it down the middle. And now when I add my edit poly, I don't actually have to use my swift loop to get to that. What I will do is select the, and in the edit poly, I'm going to select the, um, what are these called? Vert modes. And I'm going to select these verts, right? This corner vert. And I'm going to control click and select and drag those two. And I'm going to push those along the y-axis, or my y-axis, just like that. And I'm going to check my um, piece. Eh. Okay, something like that. And the other thing I'm going to do, now I also need them to go inward. This is a nice trick. If you have vert selected, you can go into scale mode. And you're not going to scale the size of the vert. 
For some reason, scaling a group of verts in one direction will push them into the other direction. Yeah, why does it work like that? I don't know. It just does. And the last thing I want to do now is select all of these top verts. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to lie this down. So I'm actually, if I really wanted to model the, oops, the shogi piece, I'd probably scale it in the Z. And that way, when I look at it in the left viewport, they're all going inward from the top and the bottom. But I'm, I actually don't want to do that. I think what I want to do, because it's a tile piece that lies down, I'm going to actually angle it downward like that. I think that's how I want to do this. Again, you can do that. I don't know. You can make your own decisions, I guess. Okay, so that's the that's the overall piece. Um, I'm going to keep this like that. And the next thing you're going to want to do, well, I could actually say, I'm going to center this. If I center this, yeah, now it's at zero, zero, zero. I could actually click file, save as I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to tutorials. I'm going to make a new tutorial and probably say, oh, five, uh, Shogi piece. Inside there, obviously, I'm going to make a max file, and inside that, I'm going to call it Shogi OO. All right, now I can actually export this. Export selected. I'm going to export that tutorial Shogi piece. I'm going to create a new one called FBX, a new folder called FBX, and I'll probably again call this Shogi FBX is fine. Smoothing group, sure. I don't have anything important there. Okay, now I can go to my um, Unreal Engine and I can go into content. Where do I want to put this? I should really make a. Oh, geometry is fine, meshes is fine. Um, where do I want to put this? I should just make a folder called tutorial stuff tutorials. That's what I should do. And I'm going to create another folder called Shogi. This is just an easy way for me to keep all of the content in the same folders. Um, I'm going to import that FBX. Um, auto generate collision. It is one piece. I don't have to worry about combining meshes. It has no material. <clears throat> it will in a moment. And so I'll say do not create material and then I'll say import all. And here we've got a nice little piece here. Now look at, this should be a perfect checkerboard, but look what happened. This is not mapped right. So while we actually have something that looks like it's fine, like there's nothing wrong with it here, actually because I pushed these verts inward, um, I've actually screwed it up in the way that materials are going to be mapped to it. So this has a material mapping um, channel to it. And if I were to put, Oh God, like that. Now that's fine. That's just an overall material. If I had, with, with no image, if I had any sort of image applied to it, like this is where it's going to get weird. Like that push right here. That's a distorted map. Um, it's a distorted unwrapping, I should have said. And so the next video, we're going to look at how we can unwrap this so that if we were to map a Shogi image onto this, it would not be distorted right here. Okay, so next one, we're going to unwrap. It'll be fun. Yay!